what is the process of using a Roth IRA with my 401k? Should I do it when working or when I am retired? Um, okay, uh, yeah, so yes, uh, for me, everybody's different. For me, the answer is yes, because uh, I think that uh, a Roth IRA or a Roth 401k is the only legal way to avoid taxes. You put money in there, as long as you can afford to do that, it's going to grow tax-free uh, for the rest of your life. So you're going to get a, a lot more a lot more beneficial compounding and interest on there. So let's go back to the example I gave, 100000 and make it easy. Uh, so let's assume you make $100,000. And let's assume you look at your budget, you can afford to put in 10%. So you can put in 10% on a pre-tax, after-tax, or a Roth basis in the ExxonMobil 401k plan. On that pre-tax, you put in that 10,000, and let's assume that it grows to 30,000 for this example. Um, so eventually when you take that 30,000 out, it's all taxable. But you did get a tax benefit on that 10,000 right now because you've got to deduct that from your taxes. So maybe you saved you know, two to $3,000 or something like that. If you put in the after tax, you don't get that deduction now, so no tax savings now. That 10,000 grows to that 30. So if you decide to retire and take that money out, that original 10,000 is tax free, but the 20,000 growth, the 10,000 to the 30, that's going to be taxable at whatever your tax bracket is at that time. Now, if you put that money into a Roth 401k plan, that $10,000, same thing as the after tax, no tax benefit. You don't get that that deduction. You don't get to save two or three thousand dollars in taxes now. But that 10,000, if it grows to 30. When you take that 30000 out, it's all tax-free, assuming you made it to age 59 and a half. So that's going to save you a lot more tax in the long run versus making the pre-tax contributions in the short run. So if you can afford to do that, you're not focused on trying to get a tax deduction right now. Again, depending upon your, uh, your bracket, we can run these to see if you need a tax deduction and drop you from one bracket to the next. For instance, maybe the 22 to the, to the 12, because that's a big drop. We can weigh those pros and cons. But if you can... Uh, if you can afford to do that and you are willing to pay the taxes now and kind of have it you know have it off your hands the Roth 401k is going to make a lot more sense because you get that tax free growth over there so again everybody's a little bit unique and different but uh, give me a call and we can kind of go through that and run that analysis for you mm -hmm.